Moving on to the next board. This is a trick board with a Little Fokker 3.0 with a 18S 1P battery and a hypercore motor. All right, let's head down. This board has a 3.0 Little Fokker in it. So that's the older one with the BMI 160 IMU. And for a while I've been riding this controller with a Super Flux. But we built this board to be sort of a lightweight trick board. And basically imagine if you took a GT and uh, turned that into a pint. Just like the XR became a pint by just cutting the battery in half. So you basically, instead of having two rows of cells, you just had one. And if you did the same thing with the GT, taking the 18S 2P that you have and turning it into an 18S 1P, this is the board we got here. It's only 28 pounds, which uh, is pretty light compared to other boards in form like this. The only other difference to the GT battery is the cells that are used are the more advanced ones that are also in the GTS. So it's the Molly Cell P45Bs instead of Molly Cell P42As. So yeah, this is basically mainly to see, first of all, will the Little Fokker survive? I mean, survive, will of course survive, but the Little Fokker is known to get a little hot. Um, so the question is, will the Hypercore handle this climb? And will the little Fokker stay cool enough that I don't need to take a break? But yeah, the main difference to the GT motor that I'm having here is the 6-inch hub. It's basically a plus motor. And I have stator rate added. And when I add stator rate, I always just add a tiny amount. Um, you don't need to drown your... your uh, hub in that fluid but instead you just want to cover the magnets like the gaps between the magnets so you fill in those gaps and that's all you need all right so the motor starts at 40 let's compare that to Fahrenheit numbers yeah so the motor is still it is noticeably cooler than the starting temperature of the hyper course. All right, and just to keep it fair, just like I did with the future motion boards, I always waited for the controller to go under 110 Fahrenheit. So I'll do the same thing here. And then uh, pay attention to how I'm able to start on this hill without any hiccups. Watch me fail now. But yeah, you see like there's no acting up of the motor just nice and smooth no problems at all because the gt always craps itself when you have to start on something steep so in order to give it the best chance i also should kind of try to go a little faster like in intuitively i go slower trying to baby the motor but actually Going slower puts more strain on it, it heats it up quicker. So I'm gonna try to stay right at five and not much below it. I don't wanna go faster than five because then it would be unfair in this comparison. But we need to stick to five. Okay, here's the critical section. Mastered it with no problem. So on the GT, I was already walking. Uh, I'm on the big hill. Awesome. All right. Um, I'll, I'll be back in like, I'll be back home in like 15 minutes. Okay. Yes, yes, you can. Okay. All right. I gotta go. Bye.
All right, sorry, I have to take the phone call. But if you see the temperatures, I think I'm gonna make it all the way to the top. So this is basically a one wheel plus with a little Fokker from two years ago and stator rate in the motor. And it can do this hill. So that, I mean, right now the temperature of the motor is almost on par with the GTS, but not quite, not quite. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this motor is as good as the GTS motor. GTS motor is still the best hypercore out there, that's for sure. But the price. Anyway, look at that 150. Always remember temperatures are delayed. Um, so true temperatures might already be around 160. Let's switch back to Celsius. Ooh. And I might have the tilt back kick in already at 70 because I don't like killing my motors, unlike future motion. They allow the motor to go up to 90 Celsius or 194 before they give you any hard time. I think I might have done the cutoff at 75. So I have two more degrees be before I get beeping and tilt back. But look at that, I made it. I made it to the top with a GT battery, basically half a GT battery and a plus motor. So, boom. Yep, temperature is now at 78. Oh yeah, and we see that we had a beep motor temp. It's a little windy up here, so I didn't even hear it. But, um, yep, still made it. So, pretty awesome. Motor temperature now going back down. But, basically, yeah, that's the power of Staterade because with state without Staterade I probably or I most definitely wouldn't have made it. I've always observed that with Staterade I mean you will still get the motor hot. If this hill had been another 100 yards I would have hit 90 Celsius if I hadn't stopped or if the VESC hadn't stopped me or prevented me from doing it. But the stator rate simply slows down the heat up because it spreads the heat into the hub as well. So it uses the hub for heat dissipation. So yeah, that was that actually went better than I expected. The board, the controller stayed below 70 and the hypercore hit 78 at the end or 78.5, which um, is whatever in Fahrenheit, I'll put that on the screen. That just comes to show how much state rate can help and how easy it is to get torque out of a stock hypercore. I mean, I made it up with no issues whatsoever. So, um, future motion, your move. <laughs>